Oh my god, this is gonna happen. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh boy. Today, we're going to buy the biggest Lego set ever. At the rise of sun, we make a traveling to the capital of Florida, Orlando, Disney Springs. During trip, there was smoke we could see from miles away. I believe it was a Black Friday and they was having a fire sale. They was also painting the Great Wall of Disney Springs. I don't know why, but they're making it blue. Disney also closed parking garage to make us walk farther in order to fight growing problem in America, obesity. Many people were very excited to buy the Colosseum. They had also set up their festive decorations for Hanukkah, and this man was wearing a Halloween outfit. Silly silly, he waited in line for one hour until Lego store opened early. It's not that big, is it? You think? You think it's that big? When you buy Coliseum, it comes in this big yellow bag so that everybody can laugh at you for buying a Lego set made for children. They also had amazing sales in the stores, with all of the unpopular Lego sets 20% off. Made my purchasings for $550 plus government fee and made my way to the door. Fashionable giant Lego bag. We have to walk so far because they wouldn't open this garage. And this thing is so heavy. This is ridiculous. I don't even. I can't. This works. Right, this doesn't work much better either, actually. It still hurts a lot. This sucks. And now, of course, the other garage is open where we could have parked. But they didn't let us park. Is this not crazy? It's crazy? How big the box is? I can't even. It's way too big. They actually should be legally required to give you wheels for something like this. I figured out that it was way easier to carry it like this. Like, it, like I don't know why they gave you the bag and it like implies that you should carry it one way and it's easier, but it's not. And the bag actually makes life a lot harder because you do the things. All right, we're going home. Finally, the big bag is in and we are good to go i'm pretty hyped with that my watch is telling me i need to stand up but i'm kind of driving so i don't really know what i'm supposed to do here ah. like it's actually substantially big all right let's go why are you falling stop what do i weigh 200 170 i do not weigh 172 really i feel like that's high what the heck? Like, I don't weigh 172. Okay, well, regardless, the baseline is 172 and a half. Let's do one more time for good measure so we have a good data set. 172 and a half. All right, that is, that is the baseline number. 86. <laughs> so if what the guy in the store told us is true, he said the box weighs 28 pounds, then it should really just even out right at 200 if I'm holding the box. I was supposed to get a UCS Falcon today in the mail, but we weren't here to sign for it. So unfortunately that didn't happen. Um, my other one's in the garage buried kind of, so I can't get it for this. <laughs> Fell for it. <laughs> the Coliseum deadlift. So they actually gave it a special bag. If you guys couldn't tell, like this bag just comes with the set if you buy the set. So that was actually kind of cool of them. However, like I mentioned earlier, the bag kind of gives this misnomer that you have to carry it with the bag when it's actually just way easier. <laughs> We're going down. Uh, to carry it like this. Like it just actually is way easier to carry like this. There's no reason to carry it like a bag. You're gonna kill yourself. 172 and a half is the baseline. Let's see what the Coliseum adds. 196. They told me it was 28 pounds. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna write a 196 here. Let's make sure we get more data sets. We'll try it three times like we did the other one. 196 and a half again. 196, right, 196 and, a and a half. So what's that? 20, 23 pounds. 24. No, you can't do math. So that's what it weighs, 24 pounds. I, they told me it was 28 in the store. They literally lied to me. I can't believe it. Terrible, terrible Lego store experience. Three thumbs down. Mm. 
the biggest Lego set ever by piece count, ladies and gentlemen. I believe it has 9,036 pieces, which is a substantial amount of pieces. That is going to take me like, I don't know, 15 hours to build? <laughs> uh, uh. So if you didn't know, this set costs 550 bucks. That's how much I paid for it at the Lego store. Obviously the price will vary by region, but 550 in the US. 9,036 pieces is good for the most ever in a Lego set previously held by the UCS Millennium Falcon. This pretty much shatters that set. Um, I don't know if it's actually gonna be physically bigger um, because I don't have the model built for the UCS Falcon anymore. I will in the future, but I don't know if I'll still have this around in the future. So we'll see what happens, but set 10276, you know, not really important there. No minifigures included in the set. However, they give me some pretty cool promos when I bought this at the Lego store on release day, obviously. I got this brick. Pretty nice. I got the Charles Dickens tribute set thing. Like, they actually promoted me out like crazy. I Oh, well, the box doesn't matter, actually, because they're kind of the same box. Um, the Black Friday chariot set. This actually has a minifigure in it for that set. And then they also gave me... A Christmas tree. So actually a solid amount of promos for a $550 set, if you will. So, I mean, I'd say all together, maybe looking at about a hundred, especially, especially this one is going to be worth a lot because it's only with this set. So, I mean, maybe a hundred bucks back in promo value, basically. All right, come on. Let's go. Finally, we get to open the set. All right, which side do we open boxes from? The uh, right side. Yeah. Not the left not side. The, front. the right side. Yeah. So the box obviously is beautiful. I mean, just it's got the wonderful like matte texture with the shiny texture for the actual bricks. And I think I didn't show you the back. That's that's the back of the box. Yeah. That's you it. Can, shows real you pictures. Can, you can actually, like, it shows see real pictures of the Colosseum. This is when you would zoom in, Corey. Um, <laughs> shows real pictures of the Coliseum, which is pretty neat to like give you that, that concept of what it's supposed to look like. So on the inside flap, it actually has some writing, which is pretty cool. So it says, Rome will exist as long as the Coliseum does. When the Coliseum falls, so will Rome. When Rome falls, so will the world. What if we destroy this Coliseum in this video and then Rome will fall subsequently? Like it's written in the text there, it has to happen. No, no, it's not that I don't like Rome, but I mean, I just, the power, you know, it's going to my head. Oh yes, that's good, that's good, that's good. All right, they, okay, one thing is stupid. All right, so back out, back out, back out. This is, okay, good and bad, good and bad. So you have a box, which when facing up is like this, right? This is the right way up. And so when you open the box, these boxes are upside down. Why are they upside down? Lego! Like these unboxing experiences with Lego sets are typically very much the same like this is still better than most other things You're gonna get but you gotta just the, it's the little things right the little things So get it to face the right way and it'd be a lot better, but you know, it's that's nitpicking I guess um, a really nice touch with the Roman numerals one two three and four Yeah, it looks like each section shows you what you're gonna be building for the Colosseum here and let's pull a box out Oh, this is long. Whoa. Okay. Let me get these all out. This one feels like it's the heaviest, um, and it most Maybe certainly because it has the most pieces. It. Thank you. Astute observation, Corey. I wish it actually told you how many pieces were in each one of these. Um, like, like that would actually be nice to know what's in each box individually, but that's just another little thing they could add, I suppose. But yeah, really cool interior packaging. That's not something you always get with Lego sets. Uh -huh. So it does appear that you're not getting a like, so I, I thought, you know, maybe we'd get a big manual that's like binded, but it does look like each oh, one is going to be, uh, thank you. Each one is going to be, um, uh, a single bound book or whatever, like normal, just a normal like Lego instruction booklet, nothing crazy. But but what you're gonna see with these is that they are gonna have information about oh, wow. the Colosseum in each one. They're gonna have, you know, artistic work of it and whatnot. So this actually looks like a really fun, unique building experience that you're not gonna get with a ton of other things. And then obviously it's gonna go into the- It shows the, you how to do a brick. Some people don't know how to use brick separators. Like me. Spread awareness. Save a life. I lost my grandma because she didn't know how to use a brick separator. Tragic. But then again, she did buy me Mega Blocks one year for Christmas, so serves her right. I'm gonna build this big boy, 9,036 pieces. 
Oh, easy, perfect, easy. Best, best. I do like that they're using the the art, basically the basis that they use for the art pieces. So like like the Slytherin one I happen to have here, but like the Star Wars art, and they have other arts. Um, so that's pretty neat that that's kind of what they're using for the base of this. It makes a lot of sense, I guess, for how big it is. Like I don't know how else you would have built it otherwise in years past. So props to them for, for designing something new that's able to be used in multiple things. I was curious if they were able to use that in other things, and they are. Any realistic ideas, right? I, I, I'm trying to think. Okay, you come up with something. Relax. I got speed the I got the two halves. The oh, speed build's good. Sucks. I got the two halves built, and now they go together, and this uh, is the base of the a set. V one on Age of no, shut up. I'm trying to build. No, I've never played that. 1v1 on Halo 4. Ooh. So they have set up different colors on each quadrant so that you know which way it's supposed to face. White, red, blue, and yellow. And I missed it up because blue and yellow and... Okay, great job, me. There's nothing worse for me building a Lego set than having a piece left over and I don't know where it's supposed to go. So what if I just like, out of sight, out of mind, yeet it? Can I do it? Can I get it on? <laughs> so here's a funny thing about this set. I just finished bag 28, finished this little section here and added on to this one. And so each manual comes in a box. You have one, two, and I'm on, I'm on box three's manual here. Box four, I have yet to open. So like I said, just finished bag 28. But in manual three, it has bag 29, but bag 29 is not contained in manual three. I had to, I literally got the physical manual to double check what the digital instruction said. Bag 29 is in box four. Nice job, Lego, way to go. Just classic errors. All right, we're about to work on a thumbnail for this. <laughs> you did not, I was gonna ask you to. <laughs> <laughs> Today we destroy the Colosseum. Happy day. Happy day. I literally just thought what would happen if you dropped it while I wasn't recording. <laughs> I was be like, a very bad uh, <laughs> for you, <laughs> monkey man. And I said, oh, I'm not even recording. <laughs> oh, shoot, it almost fell back. Oh, my God, please. <laughs> Do it in the, on this side real quick. Oh. If they cannot just see the secret code. Justin, enter the secret code. Oh, shoot. Okay, there's the line. Oh, if you guys open at the same... I don't know at the same time. It would look cool if you guys both opened the doors at the same time. Yeah, so I just remember that. Ah. So you have, like, space up top. This camera will be slow. What are you doing? I'm getting some footage of myself. From capital of Florida, I have brought Justin to good. <laughs> <laughs> to be a crash pad operator. Yeah. I bestow upon him the important crash pad pillow. It will help save the Colosseum from imminent destruction. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts on what's about to happen? I mean, I just hope none stab my uh, big eyes, you know? I, I gotta be careful. You know, I hadn't considered that. Maybe you should get a uh, hockey mask over there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, I think it's full acid. This is it. It's time. You're walking too fast. <laughs> You're walking too slow. <laughs> it could be a nice bird water. I should refill it. This is a good spot for it. You know what? <laughs> What's going on over there, monkey man? I'm cringing. Cringing at what? <laughs> You're wearing a monkey outfit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is funny. A moment of silence. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh boy. Justin, you didn't even try to save. You I'm said tried. you would save it. I've tried. Oh I really my god. Tried. Where were you? I definitely wasn't just standing there to watch how cool it looked in a billion pieces. I definitely was trying to save it with my life. With the crash pad. You can still rebuild it. You, we can rebuild. We can, re we can rebuild. <laughs> Like, oh my god! Let me get my sunglasses again. I'm kind of shocked. I'm not. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked. I'm sorry. This is this is a lot more pieces than I thought there would be. 
I've, look at the middle, though. The middle. The I mean, room. yeah, the middle wasn't going anywhere. This is the bulk of what we've got left. <laughs> <laughs> look at this piece. I'm trying to find some. Oh, yeah, come look at this one, John. Oh my god, yeah, come look at these. Like, you might want to take your mask off. I just want you to look at it. I mean, it's like crazy scratch. Like, the thing is like destroyed. Take a look oh, at that. Boy, what is the underneath going to look like? You know, that's. There's not a lot going on that. Like, these pieces still look brand new. Right? Yeah. Like, I don't notice any. There's 16 by 16 plates. Any scratching? Should we? Should we? Uh, I think an exclusive color. Exclusive color. Well, maybe I should be rethinking this. I know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damage. No. How high you think we can get it? You want a frisbee? It? I can catch it. You can catch it. You're not gonna catch it. You can watch my car. Damn, dude. That's crazy. Here, record me talking to Sands, because he wanted to buy this off me. Sands, Sands. It's okay. We can. You can rebuild it. The pieces aren't that damaged. You're gonna make sure they're all there. No. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you later, Sans. Have a good drive. <laughs> he is in a bad mood. <laughs> he is not very talkative. <laughs>